back to our last activity of the day. If you haven't watched the Brain Pop video on washing your hands, I would like you to do that before you view this video. So if you haven't done that yet, you can pause this video and then go back and watch the Brain Pop video on washing your hands and then answer the five questions that are at the end of the video. Then you can come back and watch this. So what we're going to do today for life skills is we're focusing on washing your hands because it's very important during this time, especially with everything that's going on. So what I did was I outlined some five steps that uh, you would use to wash your hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read over each of these steps and then demonstrate it and then I'm gonna talk about our activity that we're going to do with it. So going over the steps and this is a recap of what they talked about in the Brain Pop video. So step one was you have to turn on the water. Step two is you're gonna get some soap. Step three is you're gonna wash between your fingers, your palms, the top of your hands for at least 20 seconds. Then you're gonna rinse your hands with water and then you would dry your hands. So now I'm going to demonstrate these steps being done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my water and make sure it's pretty warm but not too hot. And then I'm going to get some soap on my hands and I'm going to make sure that I go in my palms and between my fingers and between where my thumbs are over here. Make sure I'm washing the top and I would do this for a couple times, trying to at least count to 20 seconds to make sure I have everything. And because I have short sleeves on, I didn't roll up my sleeves, but if you do have long sleeves on, you wanna make sure that you roll your sleeves up so they don't get wet. So now I'm just gonna wash, this is hot, you know, going to rinse my hands, and I'm still scrubbing as I rinse them. My gosh, I definitely didn't do a good job of just making sure this wasn't hot. Once I have all the soap off, then I'm going to, I'm going to take a paper towel, or if you have a towel, to make sure I dry my hands. And then obviously throw it out, or put your towel back if you have it. Okay, so now that my hands are clean, we're going to go over uh, materials that you're going to need for this worksheet is you want to make sure that you have the worksheet at the top that says washing hands. It's pretty small, but then you'll see two hands and then a slot for your name. So the first thing that everyone is going to do is make sure they put their first and last name on top of their paper. And I'm going to explain what you're going to be doing in this activity. So what you're going to do is it says cut out the hands, but you can first, I would leave it here and cut them out last. You're gonna write a hand washing tip on each hand, so you can either write or you can even draw a picture. And then it says you can put these signs up in the bathroom, the kitchen, or anywhere you need to clean your hands just for friendly reminders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the steps again because you could use one of these steps. So making sure steps that you have clean hands is you're gonna, you could put turn on water, making sure that you get some soap. You're washing between your fingers, your palm, and the top of your hands for at least 20 seconds. Rinsing with water and then making sure that you dry your hands. So for example, over here, I might put for a tip that you have to make sure that you wash your hands for 20 seconds. So I could either write that or I could even draw a picture that shows you washing your hands. And over here, I could even uh, put on this one, maybe making sure that I dry my hands complete, completely so they're not soaking wet as I leave the sink. So you're, what you're going to do is you're gonna either draw or write two tips on why it's important to wash your hands. Then you can color it in or you can cut out the hands if you want to or you could just leave it like this in your worksheet. So it's just a fun little activity to end the day. When you're done with your life skills activity, it will be time to watch CNN student news, and then that would be it for the day. So remember, there's no school on Friday, so I hope you all have a nice extra long weekend, and I will see
see you all back on Monday.